I became the person I hate the most. Hello, hi you guys. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in this video, you've read the title already. Um, I'm back, and I know you guys might have questions about why I've like took such a long break, and I really am not sure if I should be telling this online or not. But um, I feel I should because you were part of my journey, especially in this. Uh, situation of whatever happened with me so um yeah i think you know this video is that it's been a really long break it's a little weird to kind of film this video as well because i kind of pushed filming this video for the longest of time and i think that's the delay of like even posting or today also i wanted to like film this and i kept pushing 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 since morning and right now it's 9:30 in the night and i'm like i have to get this done because um it's always going to be the same for me to film this video so anyways um let's get into the video and get ready with me while i am telling you what's happening in my life Okay, first things first. If you um, forgot what I am or who I am, or you followed me through shorts and never saw my long long form, hi, I'm a Kang Shah. I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. And um, today I'm going to I don't know what look I'm going to do, you guys, but um, I'm just going to link the products in the description because I don't want to like interrupt my flow. So I stopped posting, I believe, in July. uh i think right after my uh, birthday so it's been like 3 plus months i guess that i posted okay i don't know where to start or how to um start but um i think i just get into it i i really this video is really not about um, you know any sympathy from your side i don't want to look like a you know good person i i didn't i don't want to cry in the starting of the video and understand me crying is again not a call for like you know sympathy or something it's just when i start talking about things i get very emotional so If you hate me after this video I will understand that as well because honestly I hate myself uh too for what happened but um know that it's just me talking and uh, nothing else uh you know hidden behind it so um basically you guys know uh, moon and uh, you have um seen him in all my vlogs that dog was my entire life you know that there, there's this meme called um a dog gets a girl gets a dog and that dog becomes the the girl's entire personality and he was that dog for me he was my first dog ever basically cut to me i don't know if i've mentioned ever but here and there i think i mentioned that i have been having a little behavioral issues with moon the reason i actually moved into the house i am currently you guys know that i moved into my own space uh, like a few months uh, back so basically i moved into this house um, like really quickly i was supposed to probably move by the end of this year or mid this year ideally uh, in terms of my finances and everything but um, uh, because of these issues that uh, moon had been having i moved uh, a lot quicker because um, it's a little difficult to train dogs the more they get older and the trainers i really liked uh, were on this other side of the city and they were not coming to like my parents house i tried a trainer there as well but it did not really work out and i did not like them much as well so i thought you know it's the trainers fault and i i, I think if i get a better trainer then i can you know resolve all this issue and i've been training him since day one i've been seeing a lot of uh, you know videos and also i kind of especially because he's a dog who has issues i kind of educated myself a lot a lot a lot on this uh, topic of dogs i think i have i know so much of about them at this point that people around me are you know so sh surprised or shocked when i uh, talk about it but um uh, like for me it has become so normal to know about it because i really wanted to like you know be there and help him so uh, i moved in feb of this year and right after like we started his training and uh, his training went on till may like it was like a two and a half three months training i did not want to put him in boarding i knew this one trainer which whose work i you know really like and i thought she could help and she did promise that we could get better changes and etc and we started training 
um but um even during the training um sessions so i don't know why or i don't know how i i usually you know it is a thing that if the a dog is aggressive like if a, if a pet dog is aggressive it's usually on their owners because uh, they did not train them properly so i think i guess it is on uh, me but i think i tried my best to train him but basically moon did have a uh, certain behavioral issues and uh, he did bite a lot of times especially me he bit a lot of times it's not like a play bite or anything he had like aggressively attacked me a couple of uh, times before i kind of moved here as well and it's just too like painful to even talk about it right now also because the things a series of things that have happened i've never even imagined okay anyways so cut to me um ending even during the training session was going on he was actually really okay with the trainers like when the trainers used to come and uh, meet him or train him for that half an hour one hour he used to be perfectly fine we were in a situation that um, the reason i got a trainer also was like he would not let people go from one part of the house to anywhere like if he's in that sofa area if and my mom is in the sofa area he used to guard my mom like crazy it's either my mom or me so he would not would not let my dad come to the sofa area i would not let me come if i go he would literally bark and attack and we've tried to kind of work all these things and very cautiously we've trained it but when he train it cautiously he's fine but the minute it goes away and he you are trying to do a little um you know move around him and anything it's just so scary and uh, it got into a point where um I literally was so so like if it's just me and him in the house he was a wonderful um you know company to have the reason it's so painful is because he did have a bad side to him but he did so much good for me um in life and you know making this video is also that's the reason a little hard to make or a little painful because I don't want people to know or remember him from the bad side because he was also really good for me he did like that dog he was not just any dog he changed a lot of things for me um in life and i was extremely extremely attached to him um but uh, anyway so cut to april may again uh, even during these times so basically he was extremely uh, food aggressive he was also extremely territorial he was very um always on guard he was a very strong like guard dog uh, kind of dog um and um, he was a very free spirited dog also as well like very outdoorsy and everything and i always used to give him that uh, outlet to kind of uh, let go like shed that energy and get drained and tired so i used to take him out a lot but nothing really um, helped so a lot of times even if even though if i am the one giving him food there were so many instances he attacked me and he bit me like nobody knew about this because i just wanted to deal with it and with training i want i i hope that it would you know get better but uh, unfortunately it did not even during the training there were a few times uh, there he got triggered and i kind of dodged those situations in a like he attacked my dad he, he like if pravalika by mistake comes around him by when he's sleeping he snapped at pravalika so it just was a let very like you know i can it was at a point like if okay it's just he, me and him in the house it's fine uh, if there's a second person in the house it's either he guards me or he or he guards that person and it's so difficult to move around when that is there and i was constantly anxious about him uh, about like being around him or anything and i've never had like i i never de- dealt with like anxiety attacks or panic attacks any time but because of these whole things i started getting extremely anxious and um, i really don't want to like you know tell this like a sob story because uh, it is uh, i like i told you if you hate me after this video it's fine but um i started getting like anxiety attacks and panic attacks because of this and i really did not know what they were until then i did not realize why i was so anxious as well but uh, it's probably it was like a loop you know they say animals reflect your uh, you know anxiety i was he was making me very anxious that so i was anxious and i think he was very anxious that i was anxious all the time so even uh, during may um 
there was an incident when i took him to that house and the old house it's even worse um like he literally bit like the entire bottom part of my uh, foot and it was just too horrible it was he, when he's triggered it's like he forgets um that you know we love him and he loves us so it just got very bad and after that when i told the trainer uh, even after like 2 months of uh, training uh, she was like it's you know Uh, it's it's not working out like you know and that zone it's not a setup which can, you can fakely create to kind of train dogs when you what you generally do while training dogs so it was just not uh, you know working out in that way so she was like you should either consider adopt getting him adopted to somewhere else or uh, getting him uh, you know boarding boat get him boarded and trained so after that then this was back in may and after that i kind of went and visited a lot of boarding centers Um, you know, really reputed one in Hyderabad to see, like you know, if I put him there for a few months, maybe he, you know, it'll help him and it'll get uh, better. But um, nobody, like when I was explaining his situation or his triggers to anybody, nobody really gave me that confidence that uh, it's going to work. Like they just same uh, give me assurance, same like the other trainer gave, like how she said, like how we'll try, we manage, and they said the same thing. And nobody gave me the hope that it'll actually work out. They said it may. and uh, it's it was also like it life long he might have those triggers and i just have to manage around it and right now i can because you know it's probably just adults but even with adults i literally because there was always an issue if there's a second person there i literally isolated myself from everything and i did not realize how much i did that um, unknowingly um, I should not have anybody over, like no friends, nobody over. If, because if they are over, I have more stress than, uh, you know, a chilling time. Because I am constantly worried that he might, you know, do something. I used to put him in the crate, but a prolonged period, it was just not working out. So I just like isolated myself from everything. And um, let's say now it's like few. It's not like a one two year thing, right? It's like a ten fifteen year old thing. So there will be kids involved in the future and everything. And I do not know if he was uh, family friendly and. I still was hopeful I would find some trainer, um, but everybody around me kept like my family was not okay with the dogs and stuff. But they accepted and they kind of you know treated him well and everything. My mom loves him so much. My dad used to take him on walks and everything. But like for them to accept a dog was also difficult. And accept a dog especially who was aggressive and aggressive especially towards me was very concerning to them. All my friends were like, I think you should give him up. It's you know it's just taking too much on you. And I think they all. say like you know you've tried your best right to help him you've been so patient with him i want to believe them but it's just there's so much guilt revolving um a decision of having like you know giving him up but um, eventually considering all the options and again um, it, the stress and anxiety i was going through uh to not trigger him or be in my own house i was like okay fine i think maybe i will give him up uh and uh, give, put him in like a farm house or something and i uh searched for a lot of farm houses like i asked a couple of my friends everything and finally like i was not finding anything this was in may okay and uh, entire june july i was i was still trying to push it saying like you know maybe it'll get better you know maybe maybe i don't know but his triggers are always the same and i was just like my mental health was going so bad and bad but it was like a loop like he was the one who used to comfort me the most but my most anxiety comes from him as well so and i could not just um give up on him it it was not not happening i knew this like moon i think first bit me when he was 3 or 4 months old like for a puppy to be aggressive is very rare uh, but i still thought that you know if i train him he might get better or something like that but it was just not uh, happening so after i so i did decide him to put, put him in a farm house and i searched for a lot i was not getting any uh, farm house who i know like my friends in my circle uh, but i get moons food from uh, this one place and uh, when i was trying to cancel the subscription they asked me why and i said you know i'm trying to like you know give him off like put him in a farm house and uh, stuff like that so then he offered me that they have a farm house in siddipet or something which is like 3 hours from high but then he said like uh, you can know the dog will be there i have a few rescues there as well so i can you know feed him he'll be there so like it's a big place he'll have uh, you know a lot of uh, place to like explore and everything and it seemed and it it seemed very valid to me because um, 
you know he is uh, uh, somebody who is in the dogs business so i was like he knows what he's saying so i was like my i i agreed and we went ahead and um, this happened in um june like that i got to know that he has but i was just not ready to let him go but like finally in july i had to take a call because it was just like he was like a ticking time bomb and again before he hurt somebody else i really wanted to like you know put him in a place where he's also happier and we are like you know safer as well so um july ending i dropped him in the farmhouse and i think that's when i started like stop posting like when i know that i'm going to give him up i just could not fake it in the blog and be like you know everything is great and my life and I just did not have that emotional uh, strength to do videos anymore so I just um, stopped altogether I thought like I'll take some time off you know after I give him up and then I'll come back and start videos um so I give him up I put him in the farmhouse in uh, July ending and this this is the time where Raksha had come down my best friend had come down as well and she was getting married so I was really busy in like you know try to at least be, keep myself busy in her marriage and everything after I dropped him and uh, after i dropped him it seemed fine like there was like a really big open place and the dogs there but were really like territorial they were also indies and uh, i but i for some reason was hopeful um that they would get along i not doing makeup only let's uh start uh, doing makeup also a little bit because it's a get ready with me so i did drop him and uh, everything seemed legit like um the the guy did ask for me like no matter where i was going to put moon i wanted to like you know um visit him very like at least once every month or as many times as possible and i was going to pay for the food and everything if they cannot afford it uh, but so this guy did ask me for like a some amount uh, to like take care of him and i was like okay with it because obviously i really did want to like you know him to have good food even if he was not like with me um so this was the agreement and uh, they said like you know they sent the food and all to the place wagera and the workers have been informed that you know he is going to be there and they have to take care of him um so the first for a first two three days or like one week they i was constantly following up because obviously it was hard breaking i can i don't want to talk about it but the moment like to even remember his face now the moment when i was leaving him and going off and later also I I don't know what he thought he probably did think like I abandoned him and it's just so hard heartbreaking to even think about um you know what he must have gone through but like first one uh, week they did send me photos and he was obviously not like full exploring or anything because he was a uh, very new very scared and he's not a dog who's used to outdoors he never like had to survive on the street uh, he seemed fairly calm in the uh, videos or like photos they sent but you know nothing uh, very um, alerting for me that i need to bring him back so this happened in um like july ending and um, i i did not I, I i did so like the reason i have so much anger on myself or i say i don't like myself because i i think that like this was my first mistake like i did so many or took so many bad decisions one after the other which led to where i am today uh, i think one of the biggest bad decision like the first decision only was to keep him at these this guys's place and uh, um, next worst thing was i actually left him there and i removed his collar um because um I was like there are a lot of trees there and everything and there's nobody to like kind of look after him the constantly so I've seen these videos online where the dogs get stuck because of their collar somewhere and really like they suffocate and all and I did not want him to be in that situation so I in my mind I was like uh, I'll remove that so that he does not have to be stuck somewhere and like nobody helps him and nothing like that so um I went ahead and removed his collar again another bad decision leaving him there another bad decision again I thought I won't go see him for at least Three weeks, three to four weeks, because I wanted him to adapt to that environment. I felt like if I go very soon, like quickly, he'll think I'm getting him back, and I do not want him to get hopeful and again get you know heartbroken or something. So again, that was another uh, bad decision that I made <laughs> because uh, three weeks later, after three to four weeks later, after Raksha's wedding, I went back to check on him. This was right before I went to Bali, and um, I like the day I was. Like, Like I was feeling a little shady in these two three weeks only beach me that uh, you know why like I've been asking them uh, pictures constantly and they've not been sending they just keep saying no you know he's exploring the workers have not been getting to picture and all and I it did feel shady but you know it it seems.
didn't ledge it also i had no reason to doubt these guys uh, because uh, like again moon was not like a breed dog that you know he would sell the, they they would sell him or give him to a breeder or anything like that so um, I, i i i just did not doubt them that day also the day i was going like it was like one or two days me i was going to leave to bali and they were like no no not come later the you know, moon is not around today and all but i really wanted to see him before i go because i really wanted to make sure if he's okay how he's doing or anything and i was missing him a lot i just wanted to see him before i go and um, bali was something i was much awaiting because obviously i i wanted like a break from all this and there were so many things also constantly changing in my life during that time um, a like the move only was fairly new to me i moved in feb and this is already happening in april and may so i did not even have time to absorb absorb the fact that i moved i'm staying independent and all that that was a huge change in my life and this again decision was a thing and that back then like my manager was also changing who i knew for like 3 years which was a very huge work shift for me as well and uh, uh, raksha had come down and again left uh, you know so there was so much change in my life and i just did not like it was just very overwhelming uh, for me all together and right before i went to the kashmir trip is when i got to know that i have to give him up from the trainer as well so it was just like a lot of mixed things happening and i was like okay i need this bali trip i think it's going to like help me like disconnect and rejuvenate come back and then i thought i'll start making videos and uh, little did i know that uh, going there that day was uh, the like it So I basically we went there. I went with one of my friend, and it's not close, you guys. It's like three hours from Hyderabad. So I really did want to see him. So I was like, it's fine. Like let's just go and see. Him. You you have this hunch, right? There's something bad. So that's the reason I went that day also. And uh, after going there, they were like, no moon probably went to the village. So it's like an open area, so you can go around and come whenever. So everybody was lying. Like he, they were like, no, he's like he went to the village. He goes in the morning and comes back in the night. He's with a pack of dogs. He made friends there. All these things he was saying, and it was. Just it's very unlike moon and I, and that was actually true when i went there a it's like that guy did not even tell the workers there that you know he is supposed to take care of them everybody there was so blank about him like that was the basic minimum he could have done i think he just thought i will leave the dog there and never care about it again um so and he thought i can make money every year i'll get like good amount and then i can you know survive or whatever shit and um, uh, he so nobody knows like he did not tell the workers that you know he's a, he's a dog you need to keep an eye on and like you know see if there's something wrong like in uh, intimators or something like that the workers don't know where the dog is they don't care obviously because it's not a dog they they own or no and um, we went and asked they're like hum log ko to pata hi nahi tha that you know uh, he, uh, the, he like was supposed to be taken care of and they hum log ko kuch bola hi nahi tha and all this and when i asked them he's like you don't talk to the workers they just keep saying something but i'm like the workers are the people who actually stay there and are going to feed him na he is not going to stay there that was a huge mess so basically nobody knew that he they are supposed to keep an eye on and by the time i went there uh, the guys were like 10 din pehle hi wo bhag gaya idhar nahi rehta hai wo ye kutte bhi re, nahi rehne dete the idhar and i nobody knows when he was last fed nobody knows anything and that was just very i don't know i could not take it but i was still hopeful because these people were again telling no no he comes back akansha don't listen to the workers uh, my father like one of that guys fathers like co keeps going on he says like he has seen moon and everything is like you just go like we'll come back in a few days we'll uh, search he'll be around only you'll find him he'll come back to the farm that again another worker comes and tells like last night he was here only he comes and he goes is here so like okay fine maybe like it's my bad luck or that i did not get him today i will find him and my, my friend was like you don't worry you go i will come here and check again and i had like this big conversation with the guy i gave him uh, to and uh, he's like no no i will go and again so i went, i was like okay fine i was very still hopeful and i went to bali and i believe in am animal uh, communication okay so um, when he got lost we did i took a lot of readings as well to see where he is and everybody obviously says he's very heartbroken that i left him and all i i know this may probably seems very silly to people uh, because it's just like for every, most of them it's like it's just a dog you know it, it it's so normal i think for people but I, i mean i also i don't think would have understand the bond or like the pain of somebody and like you cannot understand till you have that relationship with a dog and how much you know they joy they bring to you how much you get attached to them so just suck that i had to you know be in that position where i had to give him up and that to give him up and then 
he goes missing was so so anyways my friends went two three times during that uh, 10 days i was in bali and they could not find him one day we were very very hopeful a lot of people went together and search not happened then again i came back from bali we i went like so many times to search for him we distributed pamphlets around the uh, whole village hi so basically i told such a long story but i didn't uh, say i think what happened so basically when i went to that place um, i did not find moon and and one worker said wo 10 din pehle bhag gaya so he left that farm because he did not like it or i don't know why um so he left that farm and in the between in the first 10 days he was there uh, but he used to go and come back whenever he wants but 10 days later he just left and nobody saw him after that and uh, these people um because he did not tell the workers to keep an eye nobody cared they thought like ha chala gaya hoga kahi pe so nobody knew what it is nobody cared to go check maybe like if they instantly you know realize they would go check he would have been around right like so nobody went went and checked uh, or had a like an eye on him that was the worst part that is the thing like if you why put him there because i thought that there will be somebody who will keep like an eye on him who basically feed him and also like you know so because obviously if they are not told nobody will put get like because he's just like again any other dog looks like any other dog no would like would pay special attention to the dog unless told otherwise right so um that's what happened like he ran away from that place or like he left that place and um, we don't know where he is or nobody saw him around after that so basically that farm house is surrounded with like four villages and went to each village every lane and searched for him and the worst thing is that he does not have a collar on so there's no difference between him and any other white dog and the only difference was um moon is neutered so the only way to identify him was that he does not have balls you know and uh, that is such a minute detail people can miss and but that was the only way so we literally wrote all those on pamphlets we gave 10000 reward as well because obviously 10000 is a lot for people in the village and we 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 were really hopeful that somehow somewhere we would have find find him one day like my entire family my mom and dad everybody came seeing like you know that i'm going mad that he went missing they were like okay maybe if we go like you know he might come and he might be seen because they say like animals choose uh, to be found if they want to be found they will be found and um, for some reason it kind of did feel like he probably did not want to be for i don't know like we uh, he probably is genuinely lost i don't know we tried a lot and uh, we like informed everybody in the village we gave our numbers and came that you know if you ever spot one please call us um but it's been i think this is november this has been 3 months that this happened and um I don't know like it's just really still very heartbreaking for me and we are again going to go we keep going to like kind of search for him but it's like a dead end because it's such a vast place like we keep going and searching in every lane but it's just like we were not able to spot him ever but um, yeah so basically i thought like i will take a break from bali come back and film again but again losing him and um, not being in a position that i would never be able to see him ever again or like the last the last time i left him i do not expect would be the last time i would ever see him again i hope it is not i really hope like i do find him um you know some day and i really like even when during before i was going to bali i was like i i was very hopeful i'll find him and i was like the minute i find him i'm going to bring him home like no matter what like i will just come and deal with it like the situation is something i i i don't care right now that you know whatever he is triggers are i just want him to come home because i don't know if he's eating i don't know what he's doing he's not used to the road he's not a dog who grew up on the roads so it was just a lot and um, it just took so much in me and uh, i just could not handle it so the break just went on a little uh, longer and uh, i feel like i have a lot to deal with even now and uh, i have been be-, be feeling a little better lately but it's just it's a situation which is just very unfortunate i don't think i really ho- pray wish uh, like nobody is in the situation that i am i literally i am the person i hate like i used to see these videos online of people abandoning their pets and um 
I literally ha- became and I used to like like how can they do that I used to hate them so much I like how can they just leave them on roads like that and like when they give them so much love and everything and I I hate that I was in a position that I did the same thing I literally I became the person I hate the most um and I really don't wish this on anybody and I don't want anybody to be in this position and I really want everybody to pray that I will find moon uh someday and um, I can you know see him again uh, even if he's doing well outside like everybody's like you know he's an indie he, moon is always a very independent and very strong headed dog so I think he can survive he is not that submissive scared dog uh, is uh, or so so I never like I everybody says like you know he will survive and everything but the fact that I hope he does I really hope that he does but I really don't know if he will I don't know if he, when was the last time he ate when if he ate at all and that's just so heartbreaking and seeing all the stray dogs that I feed and everything how like you know food they don't have how malnutritioned um they get and like how sh- they eat so much trash and I I can't imagine that you know he is in that position where and I put him in that position like you know losing your pet like a missing a pet is another pain and you being the reason that he went missing is just more I don't know how to you know uh, explain that to my conscience I feel but I've been I've been trying to like you know um kind of forget about it and move on but again whenever i even i slightly think about him or even do anything it's just really heartbreaking and um i don't know i really i should i think getting ready while talking about this is such a bad idea because my makeup is completely spreading like everywhere i don't think this is going to be a look also i'm going to try my best but it's not looking good so far um but yeah so that is what happened and uh, that's the reason i took such a long break cut to two months later now i have another dog with me it's it's a rescue like i found this dog near my parents house it's a one year old i was feeding this puppy when i was like she was like little small like like one month only and uh, now she's like one year old and i saw when i went for the sera that her leg is broken so i got her home and i'm getting her treated right now until she gets better i'm going to foster him and i think she came like a blessing to me really and I, that's the reason i named her like i did not think and name her but i named her kushi because literally that was the first name that came to me when i wanted to name her uh, so basically she has like an entire bone fracture and we had to get her surgery done and put a rod on it and she like i said that she came like a blessing and at right time because i was missing having a dog around the house it it's just so uh, sad and i really wanted to you know f- um meet tara because there we have another one right so i was like i wish i could meet tara or be around some dog for a few days because i feel like i really was craving it and that's when i found this dog and i got her home again everybody's like why did you do it but i feel like she's such a calm dog and she literally does not bother me and i really hope she gets better soon and then her legs get uh, better soon and now another uh, today one more rowdy came into my life um one i this puppy like somebody said they want to adopt so i gave like one of my one person i know gave them and now they're saying suddenly morning they took in the night they were like we don't want this anymore and we do not have any other place to pick keep this puppy so i have this puppy with me and he's she's the cutest dog ever literally like check my instagram if you want to adopt her she is so cute i think she's a lab cross and she's so naughty so she's been roaming around everywhere and not letting me uh, work and i literally just got her an hour ago and i'm filming this video i don't know how these events turn out um but Yeah now I have Kushi in my life who I'm trying to foster until she's getting better we have a new rowdy in the house and um, I just like hope that moon is okay as well you know whenever i see these dogs that's when uh, it just breaks my heart a lot more that what must he, you know he be thinking or even like i don't know it's just i i think that's the point i just don't want to like drag or talk more about um, it but that's you know the reason i took a break you guys and the worst part was 
the guy was not helpful at all like i feel like he had no remorse that moon was lost we were trying to ask him to help like in the village we just wanted a two wheeler for a you know when we go so that we can go around in the small lanes and uh, search for him but like the entire time like he was not answering our calls he was not responding we used to go there trying to talk to the workers or anything he should just not communicate and he used to tell i'm busy i'm this and that and that was much more worse so he's like and in the end he put it on me that i told you that it's like an open farm you can go anywhere i'm like i know that i realize that it's my mistake like but in the end i was like i know i i think it was my bad decision that i left him with you but can you just help me to find him because i just want to at this point just get him home i'm not saying anything okay it's all my fault it was my bad wrong decision that i you know decided to keep him there but it was just so um they were so like they did not care at all and it was so heartbreaking they did not care to search for him one day he came we went to search for him so many times and he came one day and he acted like you know he did such a big job and he's like okay now and before even searching or putting an effort he's like okay what if we don't find him what if we don't find him what if I'm like can you please at least search i don't i can i don't know what what would i do like even i don't know now also what it is that if i don't find him but i at least want to try and that was the worst part from his side and it was just like there was no no help from him um you know at all unless we call him like a hundred times and then he would answer or anything and it's just so i i'm telling you i made such bad decisions one after the other and i regret so much i have so much regret uh, that i put him there i could have waited for some time i probably would have got, come across some other option um now like my friend shima has glampin maybe like if i waited a few months this would have opened i could have put him here i don't know there's so many thoughts that uh, you know come into my mind that i could have done uh, better but <sighs> it was just very unfortunate and uh, I I just cannot accept the fact that I like it just took like a lot of time to kind of just accept that I might never see him again because for me letting him go and putting him somewhere only was very a big thing and not being able to see him only again ever or if I don't know if I will ever see him again only was uh it's just like <laughs> I don't know you guys it's just so <sighs> it just took me a while to you know accept it and i don't know if i fully even accept it now but i just cannot keep sitting and crying about it life has to move on i have to get back to work i have a lot of things to do this was a really big hit financially also for me to take such a huge break because i'm not like a very big influencer i am also you know um you know starting like i don't have like millions of you know money in my um bank or anything that i can just sit and take like a big break and so i was like you know akanksha suck it up and you just have to like you know get this done ah 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 asalu look at this dog how naughty puppy hello you it's just been one hour you came into my house don't do this destruction hello go sit somewhere ha i just said that moon has to suffer for my bad decisions if i am suffering i can take it but I just cannot take it. Like I, I, I. Anyways, I'm back. I'm going to post uh, videos two times a week from now on. I have a few vlogs. I have Raksha's wedding, Vagera uh, vlogged. So all those things will go up one after the other. And uh, let me know if you want any specific videos from me. I am excited to start filming again. It's been a while. and i think i did uh, i needed that break to come back a little uh, fresh and i'm glad i took that but i hope you did not forget me we are going to you know continue to uh, post have fun on this channel talk about stuff talk about makeup talk about life uh, in general and uh, um, have some fun here i always believe and i really still strongly believe um that um, god has done and does everything for a reason in my life i don't know if it is just something i keep telling myself or i do see like the period of moon really being in my life was something which is very important for me like that dog changed so much for me like i think he changed my perspective towards animals or gen especially dogs for that matter like i did not know or i this side of me would not come out to help animals in general if he never 
you know entered my life so he changed that for uh, me and he was there for me in times where i really i think needed like he was a very overwhelming distraction but i think he was a distraction i needed than something very big things other things in my you know life this was a um, kind of distraction i kind of what do you say could take it i think i don't know like i always believe that he does things for a reason and i'm really hoping that he is you know doing that again right now as well and i can see why this happened with me in future but i just hope during all this that the moon is okay and i think that's all i really wish for if he's okay like right now also if he's ho- like that place one thing at least which i'm happy about or i'm okay with is it's like a really proper village so there are not a lot of vehicles around it's literally farms and farms everywhere all full greenery everything so i'm just like he's safe like he would not be like you know get into an accident or anything like that um it's just like if he finds food i think he will survive and if i think moon is a very outdoor dog so i i like i hope he's like liking being around like or you know being in the open and uh, i just said if you know one communicator told me like he is happy around that you know he's like there and all but i just that if he's happy i don't mind like i just want to see him it's not like i forcefully want to bring him home also you know so i don't know it's just like a lot of um, thing like again all of these cannot be like 100% true as well uh, so i just took what i you know um, could and um, i just have to let rest go and i really don't want this to be like a video where i am saying or the message that indies are not great pets because indies are so loving like i know moon loved me so much he was extremely sensitive but but i've seen indies who are extremely calm and extremely loving as well it's just that there are few dogs i feel with probably a little low temperament than others if these are there in other breeds as well because i know like you know tara or brownie or like kushi for that matter who have i have right now they are so calm and um, they are like very loving they are not aggressive or anything for that matter so it's not an indie thing i really don't want this to become like because i know there's already a lot of breed obsession in india and uh, again i don't want this to become like an indie hatred or anything it was just very unfortunate that um, this all this happened and i really really don't want this to become like a you know thing against indies because i love them with my whole heart like i told you i have two at home right now and they make wonderful pets like they can they are so loving they are so so like strong they are so low maintenance as well and they are one of the best dogs to have um so like again i really don't want this to be like a breed thing i really hope it does not become I can't believe I finally filmed the video I was dreading like uh so much um we miss him so much um my parents don't admit it but they miss him so much as well my mom to keeps reminding him every day like we we think about him every day um literally any time like it's in like unavoidable honestly like every time i see a dog like every time i see any video like it really it removed so many dog things from my instagram because i just could not take it and um, like right now we can see the polar polar opposite personalities of kushi and moon and moon was so so um, he was such a loving dog as well he was not just um a bad dog he was also very loving towards he was really loving towards my mother especially he was extremely active extremely playful extremely entertaining extremely intelligent moon's biggest con was that he was too too smart for his own bad like i because he was always so intelligent it was really difficult to fool him for anything it was just a leg like, he was too too smart i've never seen a dog that smart he was so entertaining for me i will literally like trip on him when i'm alone uh because he's just so communicative as well he was a life like he had like such a charisma of him and uh, but it's sad that he had this flip side which unfortunately i had to you know i don't know why he became like that because i really want to know what my fault was where i went wrong with him um in terms of for food aggression or like for get guarding or anything like little thing like even have to move from one room to one room it was so scary i have to go pick something up it's next to him it is so scary i have to go sit where he's sitting it's very scary because it's like he 
he'll flip like this and he'll just forget who you are and uh, he hurts you which is really scary and very unfortunate but yeah i think uh, <sighs> this is the finished look my makeup is not looking like the greatest at this moment because there was a lot more lot of water falling happening um but yeah this is a finished look <sighs> i hope you can be kind um, but if you hate me i can completely understand um but yeah i think that's it for this video thank you so much for watching thank you for making me who i am today i am here because of you guys and i'm really sorry for taking this such a long break but i think i really really um needed it but i'm excited to be uh, back and i'm excited to start posting videos um so yeah that's about it for this video thank you so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye